Welcome back everybody. If you've seen the most recent setup hacks and if you haven't, card on screen right now, you know what this keyboard is. This is a $34 mechanical backlit gaming keyboard and at least in my opinion, as of now, this is the best keyboard you can get for the price. First and foremost, the title might be a little deceiving. I bought this keyboard at $34. Right now it is currently sitting at $39. The price definitely fluctuates under $40, but as long as it is under $40, you will be getting a good deal, so don't worry about that. All right, so getting started with the overview and the boring stuff first, on top we have a metal aluminum, I think it's aluminum, but it's definitely a metal plate, which is surprising at this price point. It's, uh, you know it's metal because it's cold to the touch and it feels like metal, but it doesn't necessarily have the weight or feel of like pure aluminum. So I'm not sure what exactly they're using, but it is metal. Uh, they've got this interesting logo on the side that you can see. On the back, it is a plastic back. You know, they gotta save money somewhere, and it also saves weight. You have some rubber feet, which is nice to see. You have your uh, kickstanded feet that allow you to get a different angle while typing. Unfortunately, there's no rubber at the bottom of these lifted feet, but that's excusable at this price point. And then lastly, for the boring stuff, we have a just regular gray rubber wire coming out. But it is nice to see they used gray since it has the white and silver look. It would have looked weird if it was a black rubber cable, but yeah, nice touch. Okay, so now moving on to the more interesting stuff. The keycaps have a floating keycap look. That means that it's just like there's no lip or anything. The keycaps are just on top of it. I think that looks amazing. They are made of ABS plastic, which is not the best type of plastic, but again, at the price point, totally excusable. Underneath those keycaps are fake Cherry MX blue switches. Now normally you can kind of tell it says like what brand it is. I can't really tell what brand it is, but they do feel like Cherry MX blue knockoffs and honestly, that's good enough. It's worth noting that the enter key is a different layout than normal. It's like the taller version as opposed to the long version. Still okay, it's just a different keyboard layout. You can't complain too much there. And then the biggest complaint I have is probably the keycap wiggle. And you see this a lot on cheaper mechanical keyboards that that aren't built as sturdy or with as good of keycaps. The keycaps just wiggle a little bit underneath your fingers when you're not typing or anything. They're just not as sturdy in place. And it's definitely noticeable. It doesn't like lower your typing speed or anything. It doesn't really get in the way, but it is one of those small signs showing that it's not made of as high quality parts as it could be. But again, I said it before, at the price, it's kind of excusable. And then moving on to the backlighting, it's got a blue backlighting uh, overall, but then there's orange spots on the WSD keys, the arrow keys, the function key, and the caps lock key. I don't exactly know why they went for the two-tone, especially with orange, like I would have thought maybe blue and red or blue and white or something, but I'm not really complaining. I mean, I don't, I, I still think it looks good. I just, I don't fully understand the business decision behind that, like sitting at a boardroom and saying, let's make it blue and orange. I don't fully understand it but it's, it's not that big of a deal, it still looks cool. And of course, the next thing to do is to open up a type racer, and uh, I'll play a little bit of this typing race, of this type race, so you guys can hear what it sounds like, and then I'll skip towards the end, say my typing speed, see how it fares. I average around 100 words per minute, so if it's above that, we're good. If it's below that, it might not be good. Oh my god, all right, 135 words per minute, probably just because that specific type race was easier words and I was able to just flow right through it with no errors, but 135 words per minute, that verifies that this keyboard is fantastic for typing, which was expected with the Cherry MX Blue style switches, those are just really solid and tactile for typing. Conclusion time, and I wasn't trying to hide anything, I said it at the very beginning, this is the best keyboard you can get for the money. People ask me, what is the cheapest keyboard that I could buy? This is it. Under this, you're looking at rubber dome keyboards. Honestly, I would just get, use what you have. You probably have an old Dell keyboard or something and use that until you can save up 35, 36, or right now $39 and pick up a keyboard like this. Previously, I looked at keyboards that were $34, didn't have any backlighting. I looked at keyboards with backlighting, $40. This is lowering the price, so we do have backlighting, do have the mechanical switches, and an aluminum top plate, $34, roughly. I'm hoping that one day we'll have $29.99 mechanical keyboards. I believe it will happen. Anyway, absolutely recommend this keyboard. If you're in the market and you have $35 to spare, pick this baby up. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to see more content. And as always, stay classy.